Hello, I'm Stuart from Elite Optical and today we're taking a look at the groundbreaking Raptor thermal and optical binoculars from Hike Micro. The Raptor chassis is roughly equivalent in size to a conventional pair of binoculars. On top we've got a series of buttons that fall easily to hand. On front we've got an array of lenses including your conventional thermal channel and also an optical channel that's capable of delivering a full colour day image and a nighttime image. We've also got a laser rangefinder, and on the back we've got your two eyepieces and the focus. Coming back to the front, let's take a detailed look at what each of these lenses is doing. The main lens on the front belongs to the thermal camera. The Raptor is available with either a 384 pixel sensor which delivers a 57 times magnification, or you can order it with the 640 Pro sensor and that gives you 34 times magnification. The lens system is f0.9 and that's a measure of how much signal is able to travel through the lens and reach the sensor. Both of those are industry leading and what that means is you get the ultimate in detail in your thermal image and performance in harsh conditions. Moving across on this side we've got an HD camera that's capable of delivering a full colour day image and a crisp black and white image that's powered by the inbuilt IR illuminator which is located over on this side. The advantage of having both a thermal and an optical camera built into this system means that you can quickly switch from detecting in thermal to then identifying using the full colour day image. The Raptor also has image stabilisation built in, so if you're using these at high magnification, you're able to remove a lot of the handshake and still get a very clear image. The final lens on the front belongs to the 1000m laser rangefinder. That allows you to quickly and accurately assess the distance to your target, it can also use the inbuilt compass and GPS readings to determine the GPS location of your target. On the side of the Raptor, you'll find the battery compartment. It's actually a chassis which contains three 18650 batteries. This gives you an overall runtime of eight hours. The Raptor is supplied with two sets, so six batteries in total and an external charger. Moving to the back, you've got the two eyepieces, which are really easy to adjust and make them comfortably fit your eyes. You've probably noticed I wear glasses. I always struggle to use binoculars, but these are really comfortable even for me to use. You can quickly adjust to make them comfortable and get a great view of the OLED screen that's inside. Each eyepiece has its own individual diopter adjustment, so it's easy to get those set perfectly as well. The main knob in the center here adjusts the focus for the thermal camera. So when you're holding it in both hands, that falls very easily and comfortably for fine adjustments over distance. The final feature that you find on the back of the Raptor is the proximity sensor. This measures when you've got the binoculars to your face, it enables the screen, and as soon as you remove them, it puts the binoculars into standby. That stops the screen from illuminating your face in the dark and potentially giving away your location. Before we take a look at the buttons, I just want to quickly introduce some new features that have been built into the Raptor. You get all of the same four colour palettes that you'd normally find in any Hike product, white hot, black hot, red hot, and fusion. There's also a fusion image mode which uses the thermal and the optical camera together and there's the pure optical ca camera. As with all Hike Micro products you can record images and video directly onto the unit or you can stream using the Hike Micro site app which connects using the inbuilt Wi-Fi. So let's take a look at the buttons. On the front here we've got the power, coming back, the camera button, a short press will record an image, a press and hold to record a video, the laser range finding button, there's a couple of different modes so you can either have a single reading or it will continuously read over a set period of time. On the front here we've got the mode for the optical camera so there's a couple of different options there, you've either got the day mode, night mode or a defog mode which is designed to cut through the worst weather. Coming back again, the menu button, a short press of this cycles through the different colour palettes. You can also disable any of those palettes you don't want to use. So I've got mine set in white hot and optical and I can quickly, with the press of that button, shift from thermal, use them in optical mode like a pair of binoculars and then quickly jump back to thermal to carry on scanning. Coming back again, we've got the magnification button. A short press will jump up through the magnification ranges. A long press activates the picture in picture at the top of the screen. That was our quick overview of the Raptor thermal and optical binocular from Hike Micro. These are available to order now with your local dealer. Please visit our website eliteoptical.co.uk to find your closest one. 
Thanks very much for watching.